Hi everyone. Today, I'm really excited to share something I've been working on that combines a few of my favorite things, robotics, Arduino. And the Internet of Things. So, let me walk you through how I built a solar-powered rover using an Arduino. It's a fantastic project for anyone who loves tinkering with electronics and coding, and it's actually easier than you might think once you break it down step by step. First, I started by gathering the necessary components. Of course, you need the heart of the project, which is the Arduino board. I use the Arduino Uno, but you can use any version you're comfortable with. Then, I picked up some basic motors, a chassis for the rover, and a solar panel to power the whole thing. The solar panel adds an eco-friendly touch, allowing the rover to recharge its batteries on the go. To connect everything, I used jumper wires, motor drivers, and a LiPo battery to store the energy. Now, let's talk about how I brought it all together. After assembling the chassis and attaching the motors, I connected the Arduino board to the motor driver. This allows the Arduino to control the movement of the wheels. For the solar charging setup, I wired the solar panel to a charging controller which then connects to the battery to make sure it's charged properly and safely. Once the hardware was set up, it was time to dive into the coding. I wrote the code to control the motors based on input from the Arduino, allowing me to move the rover forward, backward, and turn in different directions. I also integrated some sensors so the rover can detect obstacles and avoid them making it smarter and more autonomous. If you're interested in the coding side of things, don't worry, I'll make sure to share the entire code, so you can modify it or improve it however you like. The last piece of the puzzle was adding IoT functionality. I used an ESP8266 module to connect the rover to the internet. With this, I can control it remotely from my phone or computer, send commands to move it, or even gather data from the sensors in real time. It's amazing how much more control and flexibility IoT adds to a project like this. And that's pretty much it. This was a really fun and rewarding project, and I hope it inspires some of you to try it yourself or even come up with your own creative twists. If you want to know more details or follow more of my projects, make sure to connect with me on LinkedIn. I love sharing what I'm working on and would be happy to chat and exchange ideas. Thanks so much for sticking around to the end, and I hope to see you in the next one.